changed, not just because of COVID. Stakeholders and employees expect companies to have a robust inclusion, diversity and equity IDE agenda in their ESG strategies. With that in mind, Angus, would you agree that people are central to a successful ESG outcomes? For sure. In particular, the pandemic has shifted focus towards the social part of ESG with IDE. This requires developing an IDE mindset and culture across the whole workforce. I agree. Getting culture right is essential for driving a company's ESG objectives. Organizations really must you know, challenge cultural norms to respect diversity, create an inclusive culture so employees can speak up and bring their best self to work, and aim for a continuous learning environment. I have also seen attention going towards change management which is integral to enabling sustainable IDE culture adoption. At the center of successful ESG adoption is a good program of change management. When introducing new operation models, digital systems and alliances, an inclusive culture will accelerate successful rates. Yeah, and on top of that, learning and unlearning plays a vital part in enabling employees to truly embrace an IDE culture. Bias is a natural phenomenon. Organizations should offer IDE education to help employees acknowledge and respond to their natural biases. Certainly, to execute on new ESG goals, organizations must focus on developing talent with the right knowledge and skills. At KPMG, employees on average complete 70 training hours per year. We also focus on upskilling our talent with a focus on ESG related topics. So what does your company do to achieve IDE? We're interested to hear your experience and share with us in the comments below. And reach out to Angus or myself for more information on how to integrate your people strategy with your ESG strategy. Thank you.